Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingzi here and welcome back to the first episode of Looking for a Legend on FIFA 17. It's finally here guys, I'm so happy that this is back. I had so much fun playing the games with this team and the team itself was created by Claws. Um, I've probably spelt it in the bottom right hand corner or something like that if you guys want to go and check him out. But the team is absolutely amazing. I've got to be honest, this team was a lot of fun to use. But I had Elgato issues while recording with this. So a lot of the gameplay may look choppy. And I'm not sure if even this bit might look choppy. I've actually just uninstalled and reinstalled the Elgato software. And I've, ups I've installed a later version. But it was recording in like 2 FPS. It was horrible. Um, one of the games was just laggy in general. And the actual Elgato was working. But I recorded it in 720p. See if that made a difference. So the gameplay isn't going to be perfect for this episode but hopefully it's okay for you guys it's not too bad it's just not up to standards with what i would like but anyway the legend for the episode was this guy andre gray as you can see 18 games played 21 goals and 10 assists 91 pace 70 dribbling 74 shooting and 75 physical incredibly well-rounded stats absolutely amazing card and obviously i've used him before in this team the games i actually played with this team was six but i only recorded four i'm pretty sure um but this guy here Pereira, he was absolutely insane but anyway i'm not going to talk too much about the players we'll do that more towards the end so i'll be back with you guys in a second when i finish showing you guys the highlights i managed to get with this team okay guys so moving over to the highlights as you can see it is very choppy the footage is very bad some of the games were okay, I actually went back and uh, replayed a few of these on the match highlights after I noticed the Elgato just corrupted, stopped recording. It was it was quite annoying, I'm not sure how the footage just came out for me recording the actual intro and stuff like that to the video. Hopefully it's good, I, feel, I have watched some of it back and it looks like there's a little bits in it where it actually like glitches out but it fixes itself so hopefully it's okay. I should have this fixed by tomorrow, if not... I'm going to have to go and purchase an HD PVR or something like that, which I just haven't got the money to do. But the Elgato, I don't know what it is. I, I installed an update for it, and it just happened to be recording like this. Really choppy, really bad, and it's quite annoying to watch. Not going to lie to you guys. But hopefully you can, you know, accept it just for this one time. And obviously it is the first episode of Looking for a Legend. So it's quite a special event on my channel. This is, like I've said previously, my favourite series I've ever done. My most popular series as well. It's just a lot of fun because it gets you guys involved in my channel. And you guys can show me what teams you guys use and stuff like that. So hopefully... Is it, it's okay for this first episode. The next episode should be better. It would only happen to me, wouldn't it? On the first episode of FIFA 17, looking for a legend, the Elgato messes up and just sort of ruins the gameplay for the episode. Really annoying. But anyway, guys, let's just talk about these highlights. Now, I'm not too sure if it's going to be out of sync because of how choppy the footage is for me personally because I record with Audacity and watch back and then I'll just sync this over in Sony Vegas. So I'm not sure how bad this is going to be, but... Oh, let's just talk about the highlights. I'll just talk about the team in general. The team was phenomenal, guys. Honestly, Andre Gray, fantastic. He is one of the players. He is MNEK on FIFA 13. He is the MNEK of FIFA 13 on FIFA 17. That's the best way to describe him. He's fantastic. Him and Cal Callum Wilson and Lalana up top are amazing. As I've explained previously in my most overpowered cheap attack video, which if you guys haven't seen, make sure you go and check out. But anyway, this... He just felt fantastic. You could literally play him in any team and he would he would do work for you guys. He's an absolute beast. And also, the Pereira, the center attacking mid who I was using, he was fantastic. I'll talk more about him after I've recorded this bit. I don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but he was fantastic. The goal-to-game ratio for some of the players in the team was just insane. There was one very, very disappointing player in the team, which I'll explain when we get into the reviews. But it was just it was just a phenomenal team. So thank you so much to Claude for submitting the team. Really appreciate it. Um, make sure you guys submit your teams below in for the next episode. You guys would have saw the player at the start of this episode. I'm not sure who it is myself yet, but you guys would have already seen. Make sure you submit your teams. I'm just gonna leave the highlights here. There is a few more I could show you guys. But I'm gonna cut it out just because of how bad the footage actually is. But anyway, guys, let's go and get onto the reviews for this team. Alright guys, so now that you have seen the highlights, let's get on to some of the reviews of the players. So we'll, fir we'll first start off with Emery Chan. 
This guy was the man. He, that right. This guy was the man. He was the person who was controlling the play in the middle. 5,900 coins paid, so he's a lot of coins. But look at those stats. He's absolutely insane. And every little, every little tiny pass was going through this guy. And he was making runs happen. He was making the play. And I highly recommend him if you're building a German team or a hybrid or a BPL squad. He's absolutely incredible. He's just... I don't know, he's always in the right position, he's always playing great through balls, just great passes, he's always making something happen when the ball gets to him, and he just felt amazing, compared to last year as well, his stats and his rating, everything about him is just absolutely phenomenal. Then we'll go to one of my personal biggest letdowns in the team, and it's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. I was expecting him to be absolutely amazing, 89 pace, 84 dribbling, last year he was fantastic, I was expecting him to be putting goals in, putting assists in, but he just he just wasn't, that's all I can describe as, he just wasn't that good, um, as you can see he got one goal and one assist for me in six games, he just wasn't, wasn't what I was expecting, I was very disappointed, don't get me wrong, he was a good card, I was very disappointed with the performance that I got from him, I expected him to be a lot better, but hey, that could just be me having high expectations of him. But at the end of the day, he, he looks like he's going to be amazing. He doesn't perform up to scratch, in my opinion. And then it is the exact opposite story for my left wing, which is a non-rare 83 pace, 78 rated Piatti. Four-star skills, he's five, four. I was expecting this guy to get bullied off the ball a lot. Um, but he ended up having eight, like he was just insane. The 83 pace felt a lot faster. Six games played, four goals scored, one assist. I'd highly recommend this card. He was fantastic. If he gets an inform or anything like that, I'll be I'll be one of the first to try him out because he's absolutely incredible. Four star skills. Only the two star weak foot. Didn't notice it in game at all. The guy is an absolute. Also, guys, while we're going through this, I actually have Vangioni at left back. The team that was submitted didn't have Vangioni in it. It was actually this guy. Let me find him really quick. He was this guy here, Antoldi. Mine was actually injured for three games. I ended up playing one game with him, and then I realised I could put him here, Vangionian, to, like, you know, just why he's injured. And I just literally forgot to put him back in now thinking about it. So I really do apologise for that. This is actually a pack-pulled one, so I'll I'll replace him now, I guess. Um, Antoldi, when I used him, he wasn't that great. But I'd recommend that you get Vangioni instead, 88 pace, absolute monster of a player. And then we'll move on to the defence. We've got Thomas Vermaelen and Rudiger. Absolutely incredible. No complaints here. The defence was amazing. A lot of pace in Rudiger, not the, great, not the greatest physical, not the greatest defending. And vermaelen has got the defending, not the physical. And he's got decent pace as well. It worked very well. The defence was amazing. Thomas Vermaelen was my personal favourite of the two. He actually managed to grab a goal for me as well in the six games that he played. And then let's actually check, did, no, really good, didn't get anything. But overall, a really solid pairing at the back. And then we go to, in my opinion, the biggest waste of coins in the team. It is Kyle Walker. I have put him into a hybrid that I will be showing you guys probably tomorrow or maybe even the day after that. I don't want to just upload squad builders to my channel this year. I want to start adding new things. But anyway, Kyle Walker, 18k paid. Is he worth it? Not really. I mean, he's a good he's a good right back, but you could go and get someone like I don't know. I actually don't know any right backs who you could get, but in the BPR, I'm sure there's a right back with like 85 pace who you could just replace Kyle Walker with. He's a big waste of coins in my opinion. 18k was definitely not worth it for Kyle Walker. Let's move over to probably the most underrated card on the game so far that I have used personally, and it is Perrin. He was insane last year. And I think he was 81 rated. This year is 83 rated, a massive upgrade. 80 diving, 90 reflexes, 85 handling, and 78 positioning, and he's a thousand coins. So going on to the final two players of the team, we've got Perez here. Amazingly well-rounded card. He's not a rare anymore. He was a rare last year, and he was amazing. And this year is pretty much the same story. Just an amazing well-rounded card. Six games played, one goal scored, and three assists. He can do it all. Absolutely incredible card. I'd love him to have four-star skills, but you can't really notice. You know, you don't really notice if you're not going for skill moves, whether someone's got the four-star skills or not. And he just worked amazingly for this team. Then we move on to probably my favourite cam I have used so far, apart from the Lana. I'll put that in because the Lana is insane. I'm using him in a different squad at the moment. He's still fantastic. But this guy, he could give him a run for his money. I played him at cam, and I'd highly recommend you guys do the same. 81 pace, 66 shooting, which is absolute 
BS. He has way better shooting than 66, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, and 67 defending the 69 physical. The 69 physical is actually not too bad when you think about it, considering he's playing at that cam spot, where he's got the four star skills, the four star weak foot, high high work rates, which I didn't notice. It felt like it had high low. Six foot, six games played, seven goals, five assists. Do I need to say any more? This guy is an absolute legend. He's amazing, honestly, guys. Go and give him a try. 4,000 coins. That's insanely cheap at the start of the game for someone as good as Pereira. He was amazing last year at Juventus. This year, he's even better at Watford. And then we move on to the final player, the legend of the team. Quote, unquote, is he the legend or is he a waste of coins? I think you guys guessed it. He's obviously an absolute legend. 18 games, 21 goals, 10 assists. Do I need to say any more? The guy's an absolute beast. I've proved this to you guys. Um, in a previous squad builder and the most overpowered attack on FIFA 17. He's just insane. If you guys haven't checked that video out, I'll put an image on the screen now and you guys can click on the link to the most overpowered attack, which features Andre Gray if you want to see more highlights with him and how you can get him on full chemistry with an amazing front three. But 2,400 coins paid, which I'm assuming is probably going to be cheaper now. 5 4 11, high medium. He's just a beast. Like, he just is an absolute monster. You guys need to go and give him a try. He's amazing. Do I need to say any more? I don't think so. Just give this card a try and you guys will understand. Okay, guys. So that is the end of looking for a legend episode one. Overall, this team is going to get a three and a half stars out of five. I'm not going to be rating it too highly because it is the start of the game. This team came up, you know nine months into the game i'd definitely be giving this like a four and a half stars but because we're at the start of the game and we don't know how overpowered some players are i'm not going to rate it too highly but it's going to get three and a half stars out of five which in my opinion is very fair but anyway guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you drop a like on it if you have any video suggestions please let me know of them in the comments down below and as always guys make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day thank you so much for watching guys and peace